Hello Spartans, welcome to my first Halo Infinite video. Yes, this is indeed the first, I usually do Destiny 2. But for once I decided to change it up just to see how people would take to it. And I'll, honestly, if it doesn't do well, then I'll just move back to Destiny 2. I'll, I'll try and stay in my lane. But I can't help but talk about uh, Halo Infinite briefly, because I've actually played it quite a bit by myself. And when I say quite a bit, I mean I played like three matches, I was like, grand, this is enough for me to gauge how fun it is. And plus, I played a free mode with my uh, mate as well, so, yeah. Isn't it a custom game, Joe? God. This shows how much, like, out of loop I am with Halo. Like, I, I just haven't played Halo properly in years until now. And I can't wait, though, for the campaign. Now, obviously, in this video, I'm not going to even bother go over the Battle Pass stuff. Like, they've already said bits that they're going to try and improve the system if they can. I think they already have, because every time I played a match today... Like, they gave me 50 XP for literally just playing a game. So, yeah. Obviously, it's it's there. It's not the best thing, but, like, it's still something, you know, to do. It's something to help you level up if you need to be, you know? Nah. Instead, today we're just going to talk about the overall, like, I guess multiplayer aspect. Because, I can't, obviously, I can't really comment on the campaign when it's not even out yet. So, when it comes to the actual multiplayer game itself, it's not that bad. I even moved it from my uh, hard drive to my SSD. That's how much I like it right now. Just because I wanted that, like, you know, a tiny bit extra faster loading times. And I just have to say, it's just, again, comparing it to last year, again, people have said this already, but I'm going to at least mention this point. It looks nice. Uh, also, in the settings, an unusual thing they have is they actually let you choose which monitor you want to play your game on. And I struggle with that with every single game I play. Like, there's some games I can't play on my other monitor because it does not let me move the window over to your screen. I even have to play Apex Legends in windowed mode. That's how bad it is, like. And uh, an example, obviously, of a game that sticks on the screen I don't want it to be on would be something like uh, Crab Game. Actually, that's really, yeah, that's all the th games I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, no, Halo literally just have the option. It's like, oh... You want to pick which screen you want to play it on? Boom, there you go, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if you had, like, eight monitors and it's like, oh, you want to choose between all eight monitors? Boom, there you go, you know? Just such a nice little thing. So, when it comes to the graphics, as I was going to mention before I talked about uh, choosing which screen to play your game on, they obviously have just... It's just so much better. Like, it's so much better than it was. And, yeah, again, no, not, not much more comment after that. I know on my PC, uh, for the first time, it it didn't set every setting high. But I think if I tweaked around with it a bit, like, I could get my settings to be a bit higher. But I'm kind of content with where it is right now, because it just looks good the way it is now. So yeah. Right, moving on to, uh, I guess, you know, the actual multiplayer aspect now. People have mentioned as well, on top of, like, the battle pass problems, that there's also the problem of, well, customization. There's a problem of a lack of game modes, and so on and so forth. Honestly, they'll eventually add them. So, like, I'm not in a rush to, like, play a new game mode. I still haven't played all the game modes, I don't think, yet. I've played uh, Capture the Zone. I've played the one where you get, like, batteries in the middle of the map and you have to get, like, five to charge up a cannon or something. Uh, I think I've played, like, a normal big team deathmatch as well and so on. So, <laughs> there is that. Like, when it comes to me in Halo, I'm more casual of Halo nowadays compared to Destiny. So, sorry if I'm not, like, you know, as uh, opinionated on it or heavily, like, criticizing it, but it is how it is. I don't think anybody should really expect a game to come out, like, fully polished nowadays, even though that would be lovely to see. Um, when it comes to how the game plays, it was weird at first, but I did do a few changes. Like, I, um, well, for one, I played the game more and I just got used to the way the slide works. I turned up my sensitivity, even on mouse and keyboard. And I also uh, increased my field of view because I don't know why. I just I just love increasing my field of view now. Like I can't help but feel like I'm boxed in when I don't increase it past like the 90 mark or whatever they usually set it at. You know, it's just so freeing. Like I have to do that every time. When it comes to the weapons and multiplayer, I think they're okay. They're they're good uh, ones to play with. Uh, now that I remember, somebody was mentioning how the Spartan laser isn't in uh, Halo Inf. Infinity and Yeah, honestly, it kind of feels off that's not I wish I could have just picked one of like a Spartan laser up and just laser down a, a um, Wasp maybe that's why they haven't added it. They just know that you're gonna just one shot like the air vehicles like but um, 
the actual abilities that like Spartans can use now is very interesting. I know a lot of people were against the grappling hook at first, and now after playing with it a lot because I love the grappling hook so much, I kind of see like why it, it's in a state it is in. Like even when I'm trying to get a rock that's like right in front of me, I have to make sure I'm like close enough to actually be able to like grapple onto it, and like even the way you swing like is all determined on like how um. How well you've done with, I guess, grappling in other games as well. Because, like, I, I guess it, kind of, it might play the same. It just depends. I just, I haven't played much games recently with grappling hooks in them. So, yeah, I can't really comment too much more about that. I just, I don't know. I just find it, like, fun that that's how the abilities work in this game now. Uh, we could talk about sprinting, but honestly, I'm indifferent. It's like, cool, I have the option to sprint. That's epic. One thing I still don't like, but I understand why it's in Halo is that you can't stay aimed in even when you're being shot at. Like, you kind of just uh, get unzoomed from your thing. But again, I understand why it's in the game. I think, to be fair, though, it kind of adds, like, a bit of, like, okay, I either try and hip fire this guy from across here, or I just run away, you know? Unlike in other games where it's, like, you could flinch, but you could probably still, like, get the kill easily if you're far enough away from them, and if you're more accurate even whilst flinching, you know? And the vehicles. Now, again, for me, this is like my first Halo I'm basically playing on PC properly. And as I've already mentioned how sliding was weird, like driving the vehicles at first felt a bit weird to me as well using a mouse and keyboard. But I I've gotten used to it now, so not much, uh, you know, there's not much to talk about there other than like I did struggle, but I'm better at it now. Customization, it's in a weird spot. Because I know people are complaining that, oh, uh, you have to pay for this, this, and this. And, like, one fact you need to remember as well, by the way, is the multiplayer is free. Anybody can hop into it. you got to admit, like, at some point they need to charge, like, some money to actually, like, generate some revenue. If anything, they've probably already generated so much revenue just in this first week. I wouldn't even be surprised if the thing comes out and be like, oh, this is the most... Uh, bought Halo game since Halo's history and all that sort of stuff, you know? But I know a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could just get this item and buy this in particular and that, that, and the other, you know? And, like, technically you can. I think there is a storefront for that if you want to just buy the pieces individually. But I know some people are complaining, like, they'd rather buy some things in the Battle Pass separately, but honestly, I I'd rather just get them bits over time. Because, like... In your country, it's like, you know, it depends where. So, like, for me, it'd be 10 euro. I think the UK, it's 10 pounds. And for America, it's, like, 10 dollars. Like, you're spending 10 for 100 bits of customization. Now, honestly, I haven't looked too far into the Battle Pass. All I've seen is, ooh, Halo Reach helmet. Ooh, Halo Reach thing. Ooh, Halo Reach thing. You know, that's really it. I don't know if they have, like, I don't know, like, boosters or something in between and all. So, maybe it's not exactly 100 bits of customization you can get. But there is that. However, I will admit it is a it's really weird how you can't use as much like color customization as you thought you could. And that is kind of off putting, I'm not gonna lie. Like part of me wishes there was more, but honestly, I have my dark green colour, that's all I really care about, you know? But for other people who wanted more, you know, yeah. They could work on the customization, but we're just gonna have to see where they go from there. I think we should give them at least one thing to work on at a time, you know, like the fact that like if they're still working on how experience is gained in the game, let them work on that first, and then we can build up from there. Because if the game is fun itself, then customizing will make the gameplay even more fun on top of it being fun already. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to talk about for this uh, Halo Infinity video. I know it's very strange for me to talk about this, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see what people think of my opinions. Uh, obviously, if you want to comment below on what you thought of this video or even just on Halo Infinite in general, just let me know. If you're a Destiny fan and watching this and you're wondering how Halo is, you know, again, comment if you want. Other than that though, you can like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want, whilst hitting the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you Spartans on the battlefield.